Rwanda. Okay, do we have Kenya? Yes. You do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, it's, it's amazing. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed um, by this, you know, having people here. But this event is not about me, really. It's about Africa. It's about a region that so many people love and care about. So for those that do not know my story, um, I've been in corporate America. That's all I've known, just solving um, the day-to-day -day running operations. I grew a career in technology. But three years ago, you, you're going to be able to read a little bit of my story in the, in the handout. But three years ago was really a turning point for me, where I started saying, what can I do? And that point of deciding to do something is what has led to this. Um, hopefully, everyone has a goodie bag. If you don't, ask for, because the latecomers would not have one. But um, I also want to say, you know, I'm from retail. We sell. That's all we do. So um, this fabric was made for you in Africa. It's handmade, um, no machines. And it's from the Asian technique in Nigeria. It's called Ashoke. The more you use it, it softens up. So you need to use it to make, to really, it's like leather, right? You, it's, it lasts forever and it's passed down. And um, it's just, you know, something for you to take up. I know many people may try and figure out how, to, how do you use it. She's got it right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So um, you can hang it up whichever way you, we want, but hopefully it's, a, it's something that reminds you of what we're, we're doing here today. I know we're starting late, but I promise you we're going to catch up because I'm shortening my own presentation. You don't have to listen to me. There's a lot of great speakers here. Um, but today, what we've tried to do is to narrow down the topics that we're trying to laser focus on. We do have in the room, in my opinion, the most brilliant minds when it comes to these topics around Africa. There's no other place you're going to go that you're going to get this, this uh, set of amazing people. So we're focusing on sustainable agriculture, you know, global trade. This, this is the hometown you know, of the world's largest retailer. Um, there's no other community that has that depth and breadth of knowledge. Women empowerment, there's no talking about Africa without women. They're the bedrock. They run the homes. They, they run the um, trade. I mean, I'm a woman, and so I really value what women bring to the table. And then technology innovation. You're going to hear some incredible things that are happening in commerce and e-commerce and all of that. And then healthcare and education. And we also, when it comes to trade as well, it's not just goods and services, but there's some interesting things happening in the entertainment industry um, with investments in that space. You know, many people just heard about you know, the movie Black Panther, but really, it's a story about commerce because that story is centered around Africa. So we're going to be talking about that today. So again, we're going to catch up. I've shortened my own presentation so that we're back on track. Um, please allow me to welcome to the stage um, Joseph Wood and Graham Cobb to officially welcome you to the city. I've asked them to come and join me. When I've made trips to Africa, I was always met with the most hospitable people. I mean, they met us at the airplane, motorcades and motorcycles. And I don't know if we did that when you got off your planes. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure you knew you felt welcome. So can we real quickly who you are and what you do? Uh, Bob McCaslin, mayor of the city of Benville. And I'm Bootsy Ackerman. I'm honored to be the district director for United States Congressman Steve Womack. Good morning, my name is Morgan Farmer and I work with Senator Co Tom Cotton's office. My name is Megan Frank and I work with Senator Bozeman's office. Yeah, I'm Jesse Solly and I'm with Senator Bozeman's office as well. Now, now, in Italy, they would say ciao. In France, they would say bonjour. In Poland, they would say jean dobre. In Spanish, they would say hola but we're not talking about any of them. We're talking about you. So I think it's uh, in Ghana, it's Aquaba. Uh, let's see, is in Yoruba, uh, Akre, Akre, Akaro, Akaro, very good. Check me out. Igbo, <laughs> Igbo is Igbo Lachi? Igbo Chi? Igbo Chi, all right. Uh, what about 
Huya Mora, right? We welcome you. We're so glad you're here. Uh, I welcome you. I'm Joseph Wood, the county judge in Washington County. Welcome to Arkansas, home of three million people, three million Arkansans, home of our craters of diamond. If you want to go and, and, and get your own diamonds here, you can do that in Arkansas and take it and it won't cost you a dime. Take it back home and you can give that to that lady that you love so much. But that's our craters of diamond. We also have our uh, University of Arkansas systems here. We also do a lot in the world of agriculture. That's, again, a big to Arkansas, our aerospace, our uh, steel manufacturing plants. We also do a lot in um, oh, retail. I think she said we sell, we do retail here. We do protein. We got Tyson Foods and Walmart and J.P. Hunt, a number of the Fortune 100 companies. But we also do a lot with entrepreneurs and startups. Again, we're so glad you're here. And where was that one? Yes, absolutely right. Um, the World Trade Center, we cannot do it without you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Not many states in this country, in, our, in the United States, has a World Trade Center. In Arkansas, we have our own World Trade. All right, thank you so much, Judge. Good morning. I love a confidence monitor that shows me a picture of me because it's early and I might I tend to forget who I am. So I want to say welcome from the Greater Bentonville Area Chamber of Commerce and from all of Northwest Arkansas. <clears throat> so. You have come to a region that is one of the most dynamic and fastest growing regions in the country today. 34 people move to Northwest Arkansas every single day. That's more than the city of Chicago. Uh, that is uh, uh, more than Baltimore. 34 people moving to our community. And we have the third fastest growing economy. It's businesses that are locally born, the small business, all the way up to the world's number one retailer. And they are here because of a high, high quality of life and a wonderful quality, quality of place that's unique and distinct. I call it widescreen living. It's a 360 degree approach to life, a quality of life that allows us experiences that connect us to the past, to the present, to the future by organically weaving wonderful experiences into our day, whether it's arts and cultures, whether it's the outdoors, uh, whether it's culinary, break and bread, experiences that connect us to each other and, and elevate uh, the human relationships that are so important. Um, so we hope that you will enjoy some widescreen living while you're in Bentonville. Go down to the square, enjoy yourself, Please shop at some chamber member businesses, greaterbentonville.com. We'll let you know who supports this economy and who supports the community. And I'd like to hear from our mayor, who is, is the driver behind this high quality of life, the beautiful downtown that you see, and he helps bring this every day. Mayor Bob, Bob McCaslin. Thank you, Graham. Judge, I have to add one more. Judge left out one statement this morning. In Arkansas, we just say morning, y'all. Okay. <laughs> we are glad you're here. You know, over 240 years ago, this experiment in the United States called democracy began. And I would tell you there's not a better place in the U.S. or the world to be at this morning to see what a free country established on the principles of God but a free country that believes in the free market, what can happen in that country? In this small area of Northwest Arkansas, we have examples of three people whose vision went worldwide. And I'll start with those of J.B. Hunt, who looked at a trucking firm and decided, hey, there's a demand there. I'm going to meet that with a supply. And he started J.B. Hunt Trucking, which is now worldwide. There was an individual who said, people will eat chicken. We found that out. People will eat chicken. So the Tysons began a chicken operation, and, and their former president, Mr. Smith, I think is going to speak to you later. But there the vision of one family has gone into a worldwide influence, where they're now the world's number one supplier of protein. And then a man opened a Ben Franklin small five-and-dime store on the square of Bentonville and had a vision for the future. And his vision, accompanied with this free market and private capital, resulted in the world's largest retailer right here in Bentonville. 
So we say that the world comes to Bentonville to do business. You'll find a very welcoming public here, welcoming you and encouraging you to be a part of this market for consumer packaged goods. So you're going to enjoy your visit. I think I'm going to see some of you later today. But you can't find a better place to represent capitalism and the free market than Northwest Arkansas. Enjoy your morning. We're honored that you're here. I hope it's very productive for you. Thank you. Toyan, thank you so much for bringing this opportunity to Bentonville. Wow. Thank you so much um, to the city officials, to the um, chamber for all their support. I definitely could not have done this um, by myself, and I, uh, it's, it warms my heart to, for that message. Please, let's give a round of applause for them. Thank you.